everyone, welcome to another video. June has been a busy month for me, mostly filled with working. I mostly worked from home, but I had to go to the office twice a week. Because of the partial lockdown, the morning bus ride was quieter than usual, which was really nice. Since our company was moving near the end of the month, the office was pretty empty yet chaotic. Furniture was being moved out every day, and I watched as the area became increasingly bare. Eventually, the pantry chairs were cleared out, and I had to have lunch at my desk. With members of my team located around the region, we often communicate via chat or call. Is it weird that I've only ever met one of my team members in person? Due to different time zones, I sometimes end up having meetings during lunchtime. Anyway, Here's me leaving our old office for the last time. And here's me in our new office. After starting work, weekends became more valuable to me. I looked forward to sleeping in every weekend, but my body clock eventually started waking me up around 7 every day. <sighs> I miss my sleep. With a job comes salary, and with a salary comes the temptation to spend. Couple that with the local sales season, and let's just say my budget became a mere suggestion this month. My three and a half year old water bottle was way overdue for a change, so I purchased a new one. I really love the colour, even if the bottle itself is a little small. Well, I guess refilling my bottle will be my motivation to get out of my chair. Of course, when a package comes with bubble wrap, you just gotta pop it. Since the optical shop I go to is on the way home from work, I popped by to collect a new batch of contact lenses. For some reason, one of the new boxes of lenses expired earlier than the old box. Anyway. I also got a bunch of clothes, so here's a haul. I pondered for really long whether to check this out or not, but I decided to just treat myself in the end. Speaking of hauls, if you watched one of my previous videos, 
I bought a bunch of accessories from Shopee, including this claw clip. I've been using it so much. It makes me feel very anti, but it holds my hair really well. It's perfect for when I need to focus on getting stuff done without my hair distracting me. For example, when I edit videos. Honestly, I was in a little bit of a video producing slump in June. I had no idea what to film and no motivation to edit. However, I pushed myself to vlog my day and spend the weekends working on the edits. The productive week in my live vlog was honestly such a pain to edit. It took me 4 exports to fix all the mistakes, but I still managed to upload it on time. The hackathon vlog was a lot simpler, so that didn't take as much time. Other than video editing, I spent my free time finishing up It's Okay Not To Be Okay and watching a movie. This month, I chose to watch Mary and the Witch's Flower, which I had downloaded a long time ago. It was a pretty cute movie. I also built a snake game out of pollen, and finally got around to clearing my school inbox. I can't believe that I accumulated more than a thousand unread emails over the past semester. Other than clearing my inbox, I also cleared the area under my desk. Besides the clothes that I recently bought, there were also balloons and other stuff that had been sitting there for months. I deflated the balloons Cleaned up everything that had been collecting dust under my desk. Cut the tags on my new clothes. and separated them by colour to be washed. My desk area is so much neater now. I also finally went to get vaccinated in June. Not gonna lie, my first shot was really painful and I was too out of it to film afterwards. So I only have footage of me going for my jab. I also fell sick soon after my vaccination. So June ended in a blur as I tried to recover. It was sort of a scary time to fall sick because there were many cases around my area. We were even given testing kits to test if we had the virus. Luckily, I just had a regular throat infection that went away with lots of rest and medication. Oh yes, 1st of June was also a big day for NUS students because it was results day. The results were released at 10am but I was in the office the whole morning, so I only checked at night. Overall, I'd say I did better than I expected. Considering how crazy stressful the past semester was, I'm glad I didn't do too badly. Anyway, that was how June went for me. It was very hectic, but we got through it. As usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.